Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll walk you through the complete process of creating a custom object detection dataset using RoboFlow, step by step. This is perfect for AI, ML, computer vision, and YOLO users. Let's get started. Before we move to RoboFlow, we need a collection of images. For that, we use a video file, maybe downloaded from the internet or recorded using a CCTV, webcam, or IP camera. This Python script uses OpenCV to extract clear frames from the video and saves them as images automatically. You just run the code, and your dataset folder is created for you. Just follow step by step, and you'll have your custom dataset ready in minutes. Now our dataset is ready. The script has created a folder full of images from your video. You can find this folder at the location you set in the code, that's the my path on your computer. Inside that folder, you'll see all the extracted frames that are sharp and clear, ready for annotation. This folder will be used in the next step when we upload it to RoboFlow. Just go to that path and open the folder, you'll see your custom dataset ready to go. Now let's move to RoboFlow. Go to RoboFlow.com and sign up for a free account if you haven't already. Once you're logged in, click on Create New Project. You can rename the project folder if you want, but I'll keep it as it is. Make sure to enter the object name, for example, helmet, person, or whatever object you are detecting. Then choose the annotation type as Object Detection, and leave the license as default unless you have special requirements. Now it's time to upload the image dataset we created earlier using the Python code. Go to the folder where the images were saved, that's the same path from step 1, and upload all the images to RoboFlow. Just follow the video step by step, everything is shown clearly so you can do it with easy. Now that all your images are uploaded, it's time to annotate them. Annotation means drawing bounding boxes around the object you want to detect, in this case, for example, a helmet. After uploading is complete, click on Save and Continue. Now, RoboFlow will ask how you want to label the images. Click on Label Images Myself because we are doing manual annotation. Then click on Start Annotating. Now you'll see your images one by one. Use your mouse to draw a box around the object and type the label, for example, Helmet. Just follow the steps shown in the video, it's very easy. Note, it may take some time depending on how many images you have, but don't worry, it's a one-time process that will make your model work accurately later.
A few moments later. Now that annotation is complete, let's add the images to your dataset. Click on Add Images to Dataset. Next, RoboFlow will ask you to choose a split method. Select the option to split images between train, validation, test sets. Then click on Add Images. That's it. Now your images are ready as a properly structured dataset for training. Congratulations! You've successfully created your custom dataset on RoboFlow. Now click on Train a model, then select Train with RoboFlow Train or go for Custom Training if you are using your own model like YOLO. I'm using Custom Training here. Just follow the steps shown on the screen. After that, your dataset is fully ready. Now, click Download Dataset to download it in your preferred format. In my case, I'm choosing YOLO 11. You can also select YOLO 8, TensorFlow or any other supported format. Then click Show Download Code and you'll see the Python code snippet for using this dataset. Click Continue and copy that code. Now it's time to run our dataset in Google Colab and start training our model. We'll be using the code provided by RoboFlow and running it step by step in Google Colab. I've already set up a Google Colab notebook for you, and the link is available in the video description or on GitHub. Just open the notebook and follow the video step by step. Now go back to RoboFlow to copy your dataset link. Click on Download Dataset and choose YOLO 11. Then click on Show Download Code, click Continue and copy that code. Now, go back to your Google Colab notebook and paste the code into a new code cell. Then, click Run. Note, if it shows an error like Runtime Disconnected or says Restart Runtime Required, just click on Restart Runtime, wait a few seconds and run the same cell again. It will work properly the second time.
After your dataset is downloaded into Colab, it's time to train your model. Go to the left side file explorer in Colab and open your dataset folder. Inside that folder, you'll find a file called data, yaml. Right click on data.yam click copy path. Now scroll down to the training cell and paste the path into the following command. Make sure to replace the data path with your actual data, yaml path. Set imgsz equals 120, this should match the size of your training images. Set epox equals 40, you can change it as per your training needs. Then just run the cell, and your training will begin. Training may take some time depending on your internet speed and GPU availability in Google Colab, so be patient and let the model finish learning properly. Now that training is complete, it's time to download your trained model. On the left hand side of Google Colab, go to the file explorer panel. Follow this path, runs then detect then train then waits. Inside the waits folder, you'll find two files. Best.pt this is the best version of your trained model based on validation performance last.pt this is the last checkpoint. Right click on best.pt click download to save it to your computer. Now let's bring your trained YOLO model into action, using PyCharm. First, open PyCharm and go to your project folder. Then, locate your downloaded best.pt file and copy it into your PyCharm environment or project folder. Install required libraries inside your project, you'll see a file called lab.txt, it contains all the required Python libraries. In PyCharm, open the terminal and simply run, bash. Copy edit pip install our lab.txt. This will automatically install everything your detection code needs, like ultralytics, open CV Python, and more. Final step run detection script now you are all set. Just enter your video file name in the code where needed, e.mp4. Make sure best.pt is loaded correctly in the model path, and hit run. Don't forget to set the correct Python file as, current file, if you are using multiple scripts. And that's it. Your custom trained YOLO model is now running inside PyCharm, detecting objects from your video in real time. Just follow the steps, and your AI project is complete. Wow! It's actually detecting objects with great accuracy. That means everything we did, from collecting the dataset, annotating in RoboFlow, training the model, and running detection in PyCharm, worked perfectly. All project-related files, code, and setup instructions are available in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this helpful, like the video. Share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel for more AI and project tutorials. Follow us on Instagram, Nexus Tech Fusion and if you are facing any project-related issues or want help building a custom project, just DM us. We provide complete support, components, 3D printing, and engineering solutions. See you in the next one, and all the best for your AI journey.